Okay, today we're going to take a look at Drawings on SolidWorks Cloud. Drawings is the only application in SolidWorks Cloud that installs locally. It's kind of a hybrid application. We install the Drawings application locally, but they're still stored in the cloud, just like all of our parts and assemblies are. So let's start out by opening this part here. Uh, this is just an idler arm from one of our Essentials applications, and we're going to create a 2D print of this. So we'll go up into the compass, and we'll go ahead and launch our Drawings application. Again, just selecting it from the compass, we'll launch the application, and now we open with a blank drawing. I like to start out by uh, just opening the part inside of the Drawings application, so I do that just by drag and drop. We can drag and drop right from our browser right into the application, and that will open that part. We can take a look, make sure everything's there that we think we need. And as you can see on the right hand side, it populates our view palette for us. So the next thing that I need to do is I need to choose a paper size and I want to put my borders and my title blocks. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll set this to a B size print. And then we're going to go ahead and throw a border and a title block around my drawing. We just switch over to the next tab, tell it we want a border, tell it we want a title block, and those are applied to the sheet. So now if we look, we have a B size sheet, we have the title block there, and we can edit the text if we need to. Um, but the title, the title block's placed, so we can now work around the title block when placing our views. Now let's rename our drawing. That's just a simple right click, properties, and our drawing names there. This will be something that's searchable in the database. So anything that we want for here, this is an idler arm, so let's go ahead and just name it that. And that'll set my drawing name for me. Okay. All right, now that we have a sheet size and our name, we're ready to place the views. Now, I don't worry about scale initially. All I do is I want to place the, the particular views that I want. And the nice thing about it is the, the check mark there shows me that projected views will start automatically. So I'm just going to start with the front view. And we just drag and drop it out onto our sheet. And then we can drag to either side and we get the additional views. And then we'll throw an isometric view up here. When I'm done, just escape gets me out of placing views. Now, obviously those aren't gonna fit one-to-one -one on a B-size sheet. So we right click on the sheet, go to properties, just like we did when we named the drawing. And we can change like our projection and our scale and anything to do with the sheet. We can even reset the paper size there if we need to. Now we can line those up uh, with our title block so that they're not overlapping our title block and we can arrange the views how we want them just by clicking and dragging. You can see the isometric view is still attached in line with the parent, but we can break that attachment and then we can put that in the upper right hand corner just like we'd expect. And then let's set that to a shaded view. All right, a couple other views that we want to place, a section and a detail. So in our view layout toolbar, we can just grab a section view and then whatever view I'm highlighted over, it'll grab geometry from that view automatically. So we'll just grab the center of that circle and we can place it on either side. We'll place it on the left hand side and we'll just place our section view. And it'll automatically cut the model and, and take my section view. Detail view works the same way. We just sketch a circle where we want a detail view. I'm going to grab the center of this circle and we just place the detail view. Now that scale will go away once we place the view. It's just telling me what the scale will be of that view. And that's how easy it is to place views. Now that we have all the views to place, we need to add some information about the part. So we're going to add some, some dimensions, some annotations. Uh, before we do that, I like to save it. Now, the nice thing is it's a hybrid application, so even though this is running locally, that save is pushing this drawing back up to the cloud. So it'll be available in my web browser for me to, to preview and to, to show to other members um, who can access that in the web browser. All right, let's switch over to our annotations toolbar and start by placing some dimensions. Now with the dimension tool, if you single click, it'll add a single dimension. If you double click, it allows you to place multi multiple dimensions. So I double click on that and I can place as many dimensions as I need. So we'll go ahead and just add a few dimensions here so we can see what they look like. And escape will get me out of the tool. 
And now let's rearrange this. We'll, we'll move that detail label over to the left-hand side, kind of out of the way of my other dimensions. And we can slide those dimensions a little closer to my model. And then these diameter dimensions at the bottom, I don't want those to have two arrows. A single arrow would be fine for either of those. So all of that's found by, again, right-click, properties, just like we'd expect. And we can turn off the additional leader. And then place those where we want them. And just clean those up a little bit. So that places our dimensions. Now let's look at uh, some other annotations, maybe something like a center mark. Okay, In the same way we did with the dimensions, double click allows me to place multiple center marks at once. So this will allow me to go through and just grab any hole that I want to place a center mark on, and it'll put a center mark at the center of that hole. Now if I want to put a center line, we can just switch and you can grab the edge of a hole and it will put a center line in the center or I can grab the face of a hole and it will put a center line down through the center of it. So it's a really handy tool to quickly and easily put our center lines into our geometry. Now let's add a note. Again, just select a note and pick where I want to place the note. Let's just tell it that all my rounds and fillets will be two millimeters. Notice this gets put, placed into the view that I selected. Okay, If I want to move that to a different view or to another place on my sheet, um, maybe I'm going to delete the section view. Again, simple Windows commands. Control X to cut. And just select where I want to place it anywhere. Control V to paste, and you can see it moves it to that uh, primary view for me. With all that, uh, we're getting well on our way to a, a nice detailed print here that we could send out from manufacturer. Again, just save this. It'll push that drawing from my application back up to the platform, back up to the cloud, and it's ready to send 